How you doing? And welcome back to another online ninja video. Today we're gonna be focusing on the shoulders because the shoulders gotta be like boulders. It's where your body links up to the arms. So if you have a lot of core strength, a lot of arm strength, you need to have good shoulders to utilize it. Whether that be hopping over obstacles or getting on those rings, you gotta have good support. So we're gonna warm up, we're gonna work the shoulders, we're just gonna fall on the way there, that's pretty much it. So first thing we're gonna do to start off is we're gonna do some line jumps, pretty easy. So just find your imaginary line and let's get going. So just start hopping. So the warm up's pretty easy. We're just gonna get you warmed up a little bit then we're gonna hop in. This really isn't a line jump, it's more like a circle jump, but whatever. Hopping in. Okay, go sideways. Now when you're doing these, don't separate the feet. You want your feet together, so you just hop them. Okay, a little bit more. Then we're gonna move into our first like combination workout. It's gonna be a pretty cool one. So here's what's gonna happen when we have three parts. We have jogging in place, which you can be jogging like this. We're gonna have the arm circles where you're doing that. And then we're gonna have push-ups. So we're gonna go between these three and we're just gonna go a couple rounds, okay? So let's start off jogging in place. So what's cool about this is it breaks it up. Lets you do more exercise than you would normally do. And it keeps fresh too. Okay, so now let's hit the back, let's do back. So when you're doing these, you want it to be fast and you want a small circle, as small as possible so you can get the most speed. It's gonna work your biceps a little bit. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, push up time. So no specific number, just go as long as I'm going. Doesn't matter if you go a little faster or a little slower. If you need to take a break, away at the top like this. A couple more seconds. Okay, and back up to the jaw. So that was one way through. We might go another time or two, who knows. Okay, keep it going. The most important part of your jogging is you gotta learn to breathe. Okay, speed back, so the other way now. So it's been towards you now. So like I said before, to really do these good, you want high speed in a small circle. You want to be like this, just really not doing anything. So keep it up. If you're feeling the burn, that's good. It means you're doing it right. Okay, and push up time. Let's do it. So it's important how push ups to keep your core tight so your back doesn't bend. Let's just go for a little bit. Don't even think about the numbers. Just think. We're almost done, because it's true. Okay, last one. And back up. Okay, so we're gonna get some arm circles now, so what we're doing is just warming up the shoulders a little bit more. So let's get a big circle in the beginning. It's going backwards. We're gonna go both ways, both directions. Okay, now make it small. So you want small, fast rotation, a little bit more. Okay, now go forward, make it big. Stretching out before we get started. Now, small going forward. Now, you might feel a little bit of burn doing this. Now, if you did it for longer, you definitely feel the burn. Okay, now let's do a shoulder stretch. So, grab the cross, and you gotta do like this and pull or that. You should feel it right there. It makes sense to stretch out the shoulder for the shoulder workout. So, let's pull across. Make sure you're not just sitting there, you wanna actually pull a little bit. And flip it to the other side. You can here, go across, grab like that and pull, or like the straight arm. Make sure it's, it's not here. You want to do it before the elbow. Okay, this is pretty cool. So I think we're calling this the chicken wing. So here's the chicken wing. You put one hand behind you, you grab, and you're gonna pull it. So now you have like a chicken wing here. You're gonna take your neck, and you want to try to get your ear. And touch your shoulder, but don't don't want to pull it up. So what we're doing is we're stretching out the neck, the top part of the shoulder is pretty good. So now watch this. If you're right here, you should be looking forward. It's not like down. Forward. Now start trying to look up. You should feel that on your neck right across the back. You know, look down. Perfect. We do that like for a long time, but you know we can do quick. 
the very same thing behind the back, grab, got chicken wing over here, stretch on this side, same thing, you're gonna feel over here. Just hold it, make sure you're looking straight, you wanna be like slouching down. Okay, now start going up. And stay tilted on the side though. Okay, now look down. Okay, perfect. One more thing, we do, probably done this in school a couple times, but I want you to put one hand like up, one hand down, meet in the middle and try to pull it. So this is great to do, works in the shoulder mobility. A lot of people, they don't stretch their shoulders, so you lose mobility. And once you lose it, the only way to get back is to stretch. So that's what we're doing right now, just like that. Okay, now, I want you to do the other side. So this might be a little harder on one side. This is natural. So we're stretching, just like that. So after this, we're gonna get on to the shoulder workouts. So shake it out. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is push up with the weight. So, or handstand, push up, whatever you wanna call it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go push up, you're gonna go on your side, and now you have to hold the balance here. And then you're gonna go down, and then we do it again, just like that. So we're gonna probably do about 12. It's a pretty good number. Should be able to follow along. Try your best, ready? So let's go, one. And make sure you're on your side, hands up. It's okay if you lose your balance for a little bit. Two. Hold it. Now three. This works on your shoulder because all your weight's now here and you have to keep this tight or you'll fall. Four, keep it up. Five, we're getting there. Six, seven, I like normal push ups. You're spending more of your time here. The other part is just to mix it in. Seven, eight, getting there. Nine, 10, keep it up, you're almost done. 11, and 12. Good job on that. Now before we get up, we're gonna do something called side plank. So we've done normal planks in ninja school. They look like this, right? Side plank, when you sit on your side, put the arm sideways, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hold yourself up like there. It's gonna work on the lats, but it's also gonna work on the shoulder. So we're gonna hold this for like 30 seconds. What's important is you're not drooping, okay? So hold this straight. I'm definitely feeling this a lot in the shoulder. This is great. Keep the stability. If you're feeling a lot wobbly, it means you gotta hold it a little bit tighter. A couple more seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Great job, we're gonna switch to the other side now. Okay, so arm sideways, facing that way, hips here. Raise them up, move over a little bit. You ready? So, feeling it across the lats here, but also gonna be on the shoulder as well. Hold the balance. If you're falling backwards, it means you're leaning back too much. So, try to keep your hips straight. Don't wanna bend this way, don't wanna bend that way. Straight sideways. Okay, got five more seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna do some cha-cha with our hands. This is pretty cool. So I want you to pretend there's a line right here, okay, right in front of you. You're gonna get in a push-up position. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go one, two, one, two. Just like that. With this work, it's core strength, but also shoulders, because you're moving your arms. You gotta support your weight when you got one arm in the air, okay? So just follow me for as long as we go. Try to keep up, ready? So let's go. So this is pretty much it. Try to keep your back as straight as you can. Now go all the way. Definitely feeling this is pretty good. Gotta keep the speed up though. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect job, shake those hands out. We can do a normal plank now. This is pretty cool. So give you a couple seconds, let's get in the position. 
This is a couple tips for the plank. You want to look forward. And when you're here, don't do this. Don't let your back bend. You need to keep your stomach off the floor. You don't do that either, okay? So get in your plank. We'll hold it for a little bit. So again, this also works in the shoulders too because you have a lot of weight pressing down on them. You're gonna have to push back, keep your stability. We're also working a little bit of core too. But hey, it's part of it. It's looking good. Back's pretty straight. 10 more seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, pull it in, great job. So for the last part of this, then we have some more exercises. It's gonna be mountain climbers. So if you're noticing a pattern, whenever you're in this position and you're moving one of the limbs, the shoulder has to support the weight. So when you do mountain climbers, I don't wanna see this. I want you to keep your back down, kind of keep it low, and just move the legs, tighten up the core, and stay stable with the shoulders. Ready? Follow me, let's go. So like this, back and forth. It's okay if you move a little bit. It's impossible to move perfectly still. You can even do a couple sideways ones too, but we'll stay forward for now. Okay, keep pushing it. You should be feeling this a little bit in your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Shake out those arms. We're gonna stand up for a second. Okay, we're doing a lot of shoulders, so we're gonna do another shoulder stretch, so watch. Put your hands behind your back, and I want you to pull it down like this, which does it opens the chest, and it pulls back the shoulder. So, you're doing that. So your arms are doing all the work. Holding it down, make sure they're straight. Make sure we pull it down a little bit. Hold it for a couple seconds. Okay. And just let them wave a little bit. So you're about halfway, well more than halfway done now. We do a couple more shoulder workouts and have the final exercise, which is pretty fun. So come take a seat. We're gonna do another type of side plank, but this is a cooler one. So before we were just waiting there, we were just in the position, right? So we were just inside plank. And we're gonna do a hip raise now. So watch me before you do it. You're gonna get up, so you're gonna go up, down, but don't touch the floor. So if you touch the floor, you're killing the workout. Stay in the air, you ready? Let's do like 12 of these. So here, so let's go one, two, you're working the side and the shoulders. Three, four, keep it up. Five, six, seven, eight, almost there, keep it up, nine. 10, 11, 12, good job. Spin it around. So this is gonna be even harder on your shoulders because you're moving now. And when you're moving, it's a lot harder to stabilize. So push yourself up. So ready, up, down one. Let's do it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep it up, 10, 11, finish it up, and 12. Take a seat. Perfect. We're gonna do another sideways exercise. But don't worry, it's not a plank. This is called the side try ride. So here's what you need to do. Just you gotta lay down sideways for a second. Now the arm that's on the floor is gonna grab your own shoulder. This other arm, you're gonna push it down. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna push up with your arm, make it straight and then come back down. So it's gonna work on your triceps, but also the shoulder, right? Let's get it. Let's do like, I say we do 11. Let's get 11, ready? So one, down, two, down, three, down, keep it up, four, and get on straight, five, six, seven, we're getting there, keep it up, eight, nine, almost there, don't give up, 10, last one, 11, Perfect. So this is great because it's kind of like push-up, but works a totally different set of muscles and it looks different too. Isn't that always cool? Let's so take a seat. The arm on the floor, up to the shoulder, this one here, put it down. So ready, you're gonna push up and down. Let's get those same 11. You gotta be good on both sides, ready? Let's go. One, two, 
three, four, five, keep it up, six, straight on, seven, eight, you're getting there, nine, almost, ten, last one, and eleven, perfect, shake those arms out, we're going to do another type of push-up, this is like a different type, so you might like it, it's called the Sphinx push-up, so, you're going to start out in what looks like a plank, but then you just got to push yourself up onto your hands, then you get down. So here's how it works. The closer it is to you, the harder it is to pull up. So if you're having a tough time, push your arms a little bit further out so it's easier to push, okay? So get in your plank. We're going to do 12 of these. I know we can do it, ready? So one, down. Two, down, keep it up. Three, four, keep your back straight. I'm sliding. Five, six, seven, so okay, reset your hands. Eight, almost there. Nine, 10, 11, last one, 12. Perfect, shake them out. We're almost done with the normal part of the workout. So we have two more to do and that's it. So this one's pretty cool. We have another one like this ever. So you can enjoy it, ready? Follow me, put one hand down. You're gonna be like sideways like this, right? Now the tough part is gonna be you take your leg and you go up and down. So don't fall over. So you might lose your balance. It's gonna have to reset. And we're gonna go back so it's a leg lift. So lift your leg up, put it down. So I'm only gonna do six of these because they're really tough. Let's get it. So one, down, two, down, hold it, three, oh, I'm falling, four, five, almost done, six, and take a seat. If you can do that, congratulations, that's not easy. It's a lot of stability you gotta work on. So let's reset on this side. So hands, legs, hold balance, keep the core tight. Let's get those six, ready? One, oh, follow me. Two, three, keep it up. Four, it's not easy. Five, almost there. And six, take seat. Perfect, we have one last workout and then it's final challenge, so get ready. It's called the table dip. So here's what a table is. Put your hands down and your whole body is flat like a table. You don't want to be like this. So hold it flat. What we're going to do is you're going to dip down and push up, but don't let yourself lag down, okay? We're only going to do 12. Let's get it. So one, up. Works your triceps. Two, three, four, keep it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. When you get good at that, you can do like one foot, you can do like one hand, a lot of different cool things. So, time for the final challenge. Shake those arms out. This is gonna be pretty cool. We have two positions we have the crow and then we have the peacock two cool birds. So what these are, they're like really cool balance positions, right? So we're gonna do the crow first, follow me. I want you to be like down like this, put your hands down. What we're gonna do, it's pretty cool. You're gonna get your elbows in your knees and then you just lean forward until you're balancing in the air, adjust your hands, okay? So we're gonna try this. I'm gonna do it for like 10 seconds. I want you to try to hold it for as long as you can. That's two seconds. That's your best two seconds. Let's get it. So here, lean forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. Good job. If you can do that, again, congratulations. It's not easy. The last one's gonna be the peacock, which is pretty cool. So let's see if I can do it good this time. You put your hands backwards like this, right? You get up. You get your elbows in, and then I'm trying, I'm trying to hold it. 
pull your vest. So eventually, if you get strong enough, you can just hold yourself up. I'm gonna try for five seconds. Maybe you could try two. Give me your best shot. We'll see if you can get it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I gotta work on that more. But once I get it down, I can just hover straight. So congratulations for finishing all of them. Two super tough challenges at the end. We tried our butts. That's all that matters, right? So just like always, give it a couple arm circles to cool down. You know, do what you want, do a couple twisters, finish it off. But we're pretty much done. So just like always, thank you for watching, thank you for working out. And I'll see you guys next time.